Hey everyone, this is Cyrus for iPhoneAppSpanner.com. Today I'm reviewing Print Central for iPhone and iPod Touch. This is an application that usually you can find for $4.99 and at the time of this review it's actually available for free. We have both, both versions, the $4.99 version and also there's a more expensive version I believe. That's co I think that's called costs $9.99 is the Pro version. So this version is $4.99. It has more than enough for anyone who wants to print from their iPad. So let's get started. So the application, uh, obviously you can upgrade if you want, but the application allows you to print to all printers and not just air printers. So that's nice to have. Obviously, if you have an air printer, you, you really are just going to have it really easy, but you don't need to have a sophisticated, maybe more expensive printer to take advantage of your iPad and print stuff. Uh, as long as you have a Wi-Fi or wireless printer, you can just do it without, usually without any additional software, especially on the Mac, let's say MacBook or Mac Pro or any Mac that you have, actually. You can print over 3G and 4G as well. Old printers, new printers, doesn't matter. You can print your pages, numbers, keynote documents, and um, you can even convert files if you want to go that way. It is a document reader as well. So you can keep track of your documents. Let's say I want to read that. Say I want to print it. Printing over Wi-Fi, printing over 3G. I haven't set these up. This is my printer that's already available. I have done nothing with this application, but I can just print it right away without doing anything. My brother printer is a LED printer, so it's it's not a cheap printer, but at the same time I didn't get it you know recently, so it's not an air printer either. Just gonna go back. I don't want to print. I just want to show you guys how the document works. You have the you have your contact. You can print your camera, your photo album. It doesn't have access. I have to go in the privacy settings and give it access. So I give access to my Print Central. Yeah, sorry, I got lost in the middle trying to <laughs> figure out what I was trying to do. And now, you obviously can print web pages if you want, or even emails. Adding your emails is not easy. You can use an IMAP, POP3, iCloud, or a gener generic email from Verizon or Yahoo. You can use that. The mobile, v, mo mobile Me, obviously, uh, if you're using old accounts. So, one of the things I like about this application is the fact that you have in-app purchases to enhance the app. For instance, you can buy the option to convert to PDF. You can buy calendar viewing option. You can have a, um, a reminders for the application and file management if you want. So you have those options. You can print addresses or 
shipping labels with this or contact information as I showed you you do have the option to tr uh, print let's say your SMS messages I don't know why would why you, why you would want to but that option is available the last time this application was updated was on October 26 it was to provide support for iOS 6 I'm running it on iOS 6 here it also has iPhone 5 screen support. This is an iPad, so that doesn't apply here. And it also has fixes some of the issues that the app has had. But the good news is that these guys have been updating it for a while now, and we've had this app for a while. So it's nice to see, and you can access these upgrades here, by the way. And it's nice the way to, that, to see developers that are dedicated to their application and uh, keep making changes and improvements so who this would this app be useful for is for people who have maybe an old printer something a wi-fi printer that's not necessarily an air printer as far as you know not not advertised as being compatible with iphone or ipad but you that doesn't really matter because you can print over wi-fi and with this application you really don't need an additional software for most printers as i showed you i haven't done anything with my brother printer and this application just recognizes it and ready to print or I can add new printers if it can't find the ones that I already have available in my home for form 499 and if you can get for free even better this app is pretty handy especially if you print a lot of documents I hope you enjoyed this short review I'm gonna let you guys play with this app by yourself to see you know how it works for you guys but as far as printing, it gets the job done. Thanks again for, for watching and for more information, please go to iPhoneAppsFinder.com. Thanks, guys.